Hi there. In this video, I wanted to talk about what the difference between an estimator being unbiased versus it being consistent. And I wanted to do that by means of an example. So the idea with this particular example is that we have some sort of population. And within that population, there is some sort of population mean, which I'm denoting by mu. So this could be, let's say, the population mean height. It could be um, mean GDP of a country. It could be sort of a mean of any process you can think of, really. OK, so that's the thing we're trying to estimate, given the fact that we don't actually have the entirety of the population data. We only have a sample from the population. So we're looking to use some sort of tool, some sort of statistical tool on that sample, which I'm going to call x tilde, to make some sort of guess or some sort of estimate of this population parameter mu. OK, so let's think about what this x tilde might be. I'm going to just say for this particular example, let's say that x tilde is equal to 1 over n minus 1 times the sum of i equals 1 to n of all the given x within my sample. So just think about this as being, let's say, all the heights of the individuals within my sample. So is x tilde a biased or unbiased estimator for the population parameter mu? Well, in order to answer that, we need to really sort of have some sort of population process. Well, let's say that in the population, each individual's height is equal to the mean height plus some sort of idiosyncratic error, which we can't predict, which has a mean of zero. So this error has a mean of zero. So given that we know the population process, we can actually apply the expectations operator. So if I apply the expectations operator to both sides, I get that the expectation of x tilde is equal to 1 over n minus 1 times the sum of i equals 1 to n of the expectation of xi. And I can do that just because the expectations operator is a linear operator. And furthermore, I know that the expectation of an individual's height, if I don't have any further information, is in fact just the mean height, mu. So this top actually becomes n, because I've got n individuals in my sample, times mu. So sort of writing it out into the long form, I get n mu over n minus 1 is my expectation of my operator x tilde. And note that in general, for any sort of finite sample size, this doesn't equal mu. So we've actually got a biased estimator for our population mean mu. And we could have seen that quite intuitively, really. What we should be doing is we should be using um, the sample mean to estimate the population mean, when in fact we've used this sort of 1 over n minus 1 rather than 1 over n. So we've definitely got a biased estimator for the population mean. But is it consistent? Well, as n tends to infinity, or our sample size approaches the population size, what happens to our bias in our sort of x tilde? Well, on the top here, I have sort of n, and if n is a really, really big number, I'm then dividing that by some other really big number, just minus 1. Well, if n is a really, really big number, like 10,000, this minus 1 is kind of irrelevant. So in fact, I sort of get the n on top cancelling with the n on the bottom and my sort of expected value in the limit that the sort of sample size goes to infinity is in fact the population mean mu. So even though I had a biased estimator of the population mean mu, I actually have a consistent estimator for the population mean mu.